Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I'm playing Star Maid. And today we are going to redo... Oh, we're not going to redo that. I'm going to move those here. There we go, that's better. And we are going to work on this um, turret. Make it pretty. So how do we make a turret pretty? First of all, you don't give me the project. <laughs> I have been terrible at turret design. I do not make good turrets. Functionally or aesthetically. But we're going to try. Nothing else I've been told I am very trying. So, how do we want to do this? I don't know. So let's see here. How about we do something like this and... I have no earthly idea what I'm actually doing. No, no, I wanted that line of division there. Now, I don't care if parts of the of the gun show, because it's going to be protected, more or less, by the mothership's um, shields. Probably less than more, but I just basically want to cover it a bit. The underside, no, I don't really care as much about the underside, but we're going to put those there. Because if you're hitting the bottom of my turret, I have more problems than <laughs> than I realize, than you realize. So let's see. Wee! Oh, something's stopping us. Ah, our funky feet are stopping us. Someone else is stopping us, too. That block right there. It gives me a little further up. Of course, that just means that the turret has to work us a little harder because it can't just go whoop, or it can't do the 180 thing. Let's go 90 turn and follow it that way. Might make it think a little harder, but it'll live. Even if it doesn't see. Let's do a line of no, 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 no. Let's do a line here and here. Now that shouldn't impede motion, I don't think. That's a, well, that's a wedge. No, that's good. When building charts, always check your um, always check your your range of motion. You don't want to lose that. See, and let's grab another wedge there. So let's make it like that. There we go. Just wedge all that up. And I should, yep, we're good. Because you're bound to place a block somewhere that the game does not like. And do bad things to it. See, are you the output? Yeah, you're the output. So let's see, what if we do this? No. Well, if we do this, yeah. Because I think I did leave myself a one block buffer because I knew I was going to do something cool with the, uh, well, cool relative, well, not, probably not even cool. I was going to do something with the um, barrel. So let's do this with the barrel. No. Let's do this with the barrel. Oh, yeah. And let's do I have a wedge piece and all I have to hit T for my wedge piece because I don't have I don't keep it on my up oh, our come on. Throw me a bone here. There we go. Ooh, oh cool, it could shoot through the little great thing. Kinda like that. I'm not so sh I'll see, undo. Huh. I want it. Yeah, let's let's go with that theme. Come on, there we go. Except, can we try this? Uh, let's grab a light. No, I don't want a light. I want some of this stuff. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Did this all work properly? It all worked properly on this side. I like that. 
Okay. And let's do something here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what, though. Well, we do like a hepta here and a, and a corner. Then a regular block and a wedge. We don't have lots of room for detailing. Should have started there. There we go. We'll do these as... Um... No, we could do that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, venting for the for the uh, vents. Strange. I don't think Great usually did well with um, symmetry, but this seems to be working just fine. Well, you know. All right, that is probably one of the cooler turrets I've ever made. Still looks a little front heavy, but. I'll live. Uh, but let's see here. Can we get like a pipe? And do something like that. There we go. That looks kind of cool. Then we'll grab like a um, a blue light. No, don't reboot. I'm going to T. Nope, I want 7 T. Blue light stick. Ah, there we go. And off every other one. Oops. No, no, no. I want it in that vessel. Where am I? No. Popped out of the core. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Why am I not able to select anything? There we go. On F8. And let's hop back in there. And let's aim a little better. Turn that one off. And that one off there. Oh, ooh, I'm really liking that. So let's unset it. And let's hop into the base. And let's save this as the T underscore MS light. Light is in not heavy, not light as in... Well, I guess I spelled it that way. Anyway, it does have a light, too. So we're going to pop these things on. Not as a mass spawn. I need to clean up... I definitely need to clean up my... Uh, turrets, or blueprints, especially after all this nonsense. And load. Go. And load. There we go. And that is the turrets. We're going to hit set nav filter, pull the turrets off. Nope, nope, nope. I have one more turret. That's the big boy down here. Uh, What did I call it? Big. <laughs> like, that's just big. Just a big turret. <laughs> All right. I'm still not sure about this claw thing, but I'm going to leave it because I think I like it. I was going to put a fin, but you know what? I don't think fin's going to work quite right on this vessel now. Could be wrong about that entirely, but I I don't know about a fin anymore. Also, pulled off the nose gun. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. I should put a nose gun back on. Well, we're going to save this as a... LF 45. I think we're actually in 43. Oh, should have been 44. Hmm. Such is life. I like the spaceship. Let's just look at it without the... And I think I do want to take one more pass as a final detailing and lights. And it has a few lights, but I want some more lights. These lights are cool. Okay, you convinced me. We're going to, um, we're going to try something wild and crazy. We're going to go you, admin, mass spawn, add. Oh, we're going to start small, Corvette. Let's pull an Ember class Corvette. Faction is a minus one because it is a pirate. Let's 
spawn Ember Clyde Scarlet. Minus one. Oh, not minus anything one. Okay, there we go. We're just going to do a really quick combat test. Done, done squat to my shields yet. Of course, it's a Corvette. And so let's um, turn on the turrets. And let's ex let's go up some. There we go. Something blocking you from turning more? No, you're just not turning more. Huh. All right. Let's go to the nose gun, which I need to readjust. Oh, it looks like I shot it with little. Yep. Definitely got hit by the main turret. His shields are gone. Don't think that hit. No, no, not at five, six clicks. That did not hit. We're running 102%. We're gone down to 80. This is mostly a reactor test, I think. We're moving at our top speed right now. Got hit by a little lag. Break. Not hurt break, but hard break. I don't know if the MS turrets have done anything, but they look cool not doing anything. Your shields are getting back up. We can't have that now. Oh, roll into it. There you go. Ooh, that wasn't good. Probably a missile strike or something. Or I destroyed a missile. Hopefully I destroyed a missile. Nine clicks out. Ooh. Eight clicks out. There you go. Are those even hitting me? Hopefully the the big gun can see it. Oh, yep, took out a missile. All right. Okay. Took out another missile, so the AMS is effective at range. Oh, oh there we go. One of the, the big boy hit it when it hit in range again, which is, what, 5,000 meters, five clicks? I don't think don't think beams are effective at these ranges. No, I'm glad I didn't bring the nose down. So if I brought the nose down more or the chin of the of the bring it down more, then the um the Bottom slung or the the bottom cannon wouldn't be able to fire properly. Oh, it would fire properly, but we wouldn't see the guy right in front of him. Come on. There we go. Something hit. So I have the speed. There we go. Got him. So definitely, I have the speed to keep up. My engine's running just fine. I, I never lost power. I went over 100%, which is fine. I don't like going over 100%. But you can as long as you stay within the light blue line over there. We're going to be braking, and we're going to be hopping out, and we are going to be finding the old Corvette, and we are going to be rebooting it. We're also going to be parking it. Why are you rebooting it so it doesn't disappear while we examine the carnage? What actually... Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's what should happen. I would like for... I would have liked for that to happen faster. But the Corvette 
is sort of maneuverable and gets away quick. And that's part of its job is to get away quick. Had it stayed closer to my frigate, then it would have... Then I would have annihilated it. But because it moved out and one time even got 12 clicks out, it did not, did not do well. Looks like I still have... No, I shouldn't have. Yeah, I do still have my weapons. This is an awesome spot for weapons computers. I thought, man, these are going to get blown away every time. But no. Every test I've done with them with this, so far with this uh, frigate, I haven't been able to kill the weapons computers in this thing. It's great. Like, this is a, not a fully serviceable, but it is a flyable ship. You could, you could get from place to place in it. <laughs> it's going to hurt, but you could do it. All right. It was overheating. It's not overheating now, but now it has probably thinks it has a dozen reactors. Um, actually, let's see about that. Well, that's not bad. I think it only has three, five reactors. Okay. In fact, if we go into the ship to reactor... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Who <laughs> thinks it has five reactors? <laughs> because it severed it and we rebooted it, so it's forcing it to see that. All these chambers are now defunct. Oh no, that one's... That one's good, because the main reactor dropped so heavy. So that one's probably good. Those are nowhere near good. Shields. Do I even have shields anymore? Shields are not recharged. No, though they are recharging ever so slowly. But at 170 HP per second, yeah. Huh. So it kind of survived. Not very well, but it did kind of survive. And I also need to redo the camera on this one. But... For what it is, uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted rail system collective reset alters. I want that button here and this, but that's neither here nor there. I'm happy with this vessel. I'm very happy with this vessel. Hmm. Anyway, I have been GW608. This has been Starmade, and I will dig you cats later.